Salesforce Coaches channel. Today we are going to discuss another topic in Java that is Java control statements. So Java control statements are very important in Java. So in certain cases you need to decide based on certain uh, criteria you need to uh, divert your flow. So in that uh, conditions you Java control statements are very useful. So most of the people may you aware that Java compiler executes the code from top to bottom approach. So whatever the statements you written on top, it will execute first and it will come down and the bottom state is going to execute. So in certain cases, based on certain criteria, you want to divert the flow. So in that scenarios, Java control statements are very useful. So what kind of Java control statements available? So it categorized into three types. Decision making statements, those are if else and switch statement and looping statement that is do while while for loop for each loop so these are the topics we are going to discuss today so first we will start with the if statement so what is the if statement if statement used to evaluate the, the condition so the control of the program is divided depending upon the specific condition so that means if you, you are going to give certain condition in the if statement so based on the condition if the condition is uh, satisfied then it will go inside the if loop otherwise it will go to the next line if you have else then it will go to else so we will see with an example so i will go to eclipse so i will take a simple example i will take age i will give some value to this one 30. so in if i will put if age less than 80 i will put some small uh, print statement person is kid so simple uh, I am telling if age is less than 18 means I am I am telling this person is a kid so I will run this one nothing is printed right so what happened so here I declared age as 35 so is 35 is less than 18 no so this is false so this if, if condition is usually it will evaluate and it will return either true or false so 35 less than 18 is false so it will not go and it is coming to next statement if i put some print statement here program done so this statement is going to execute the second statement is going to print but first will not be printed so program done so what what is happened the 35 it will start execution from the line 6 so integer age equal 35 35 less than 18 false so it will not go inside and it is coming to next line if I put some else statement here itself person is adult so if it is uh, false then if if it is true it will go inside otherwise false means it will go to else block if i run this one so first statement it got printed is adult and then it printed done so that means if i i will for to know the flow how it takes do i will run it in the debug mode so debug as java program switch I can able to put cursor at the age, age 35 less than 18 so I we can use uh, control controls here so it came to else so it came out so as if you debug you can able to see how the flow is executed so if I put instead of less than if I put greater than so then it will go inside it will print like person is a kid person is kid so it, because 35 is greater than 18 so this condition is evaluating to true and it is going inside so this is if else so another thing is if else if so you can put else if else if 
less than 18 and I want to put I want to uh, put one more condition age less than sorry greater than 18 and age less than 50 person is adult else person is senior citizen so now I will run it person is adult because I given 35 which is greater than 18 and if you give an operator the both conditions should match both should return true true and true then only it will come inside if I give 50, 51 so senior citizen first what it will do it will go to if condition 51 less than 18 which is false then it will come here 51 greater than 18 true but 51 less than 50 false so true false is a false in if I give an operator so then it will come to else statement so th this is like control statement will work in the if class if I see here so first it will have a condition if it is uh, if else this is example of if else and if else if rad later this is also we discussed so this is how the if else will work now we will see switch statement so here what I have what happened first it will check here if it is not if it is false it will go here if it is false it will so the it is going and checking in multiple places so to avoid this uh, iteration we can go we can use to for to improve the performance if you have any if else then instead of that one we can use the switch statement you can able to replace the switch statement so how we can do that one so I am going to use switch and I am going to pass variable switch switch has expression and it have a case statements case 0 inside case 1 so if I give here value So if I give 0 here, inside, just a minute, it will go to case 0 and it will print this one, if I pass 1, it will go here and it will print here, if I run this one. So inside case 0, if I give 1, it will print inside 1. So we need to give the break, otherwise, uh, it will after you when you made the criteria. So, whatever the logic you want to do, after that, you need to use the break statement to exit this uh, switch key, this loop actually. So, if suppose there is no criteria met given 12 
but there is no 12 with case right so then what will happen so it doesn't match so it went to default default is something whenever there is no criteria is met so then it will go to the default block so this is the switch case statement thank you